So we have a MacBook. This is an 8200165. Let's get our schematic and board view into the view. Scroll over to my list of power rails. Now, we have a green light in the charger, which means our PP3V42 is there. And as we can see here, if I check where I would expect my PP3V42 to be, I get a nice kick of 3.4 volts. Next is our Pepe Bus G3 Hot. Pepe Bus is supposed to be 8.6 volts. We can check it here on this fuse, F7140. This is the circuit that creates Pepe Bus G3 Hot from the adapter. It's going to take the 18 point whatever volts and turn it into 8.6 volts for the system. So on one side of the fuse, on pin 1, I get 8.6, and on the other side of the fuse, I get 0. Makes, hmm. Now, that means that the fuse is likely blown, which it is, it's 12.5 milliohms, and it's blown likely because in the side that has no power, there is a short to ground, which there is, 2.2 ohms. So let's go searching for that short to ground and see if we can find it. Do we really need a thermal camera? Hmm. Ouch. I'm going to take a guess that this is the cause of our problem. So let me take the SSD out so that we're remo removing that capacitor. I don't destroy the solid state drive. See, a lot of the times you can just tell by visual inspection what's going on before you waste time injecting voltage, before you waste time dragging the thermal camera over. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Just put a metal plate over it, says Jan. <laughs> Must have run over an oily plate to get a crack like that. Yep, that looks. this capacitor looks just like my helmet did three and a half weeks ago. All right, that capacitor is now off of the board. Now we're going to see if we still have a short to ground on our PP bus. Let's go back over to where our PP bus is. One probe on ground, the other probe on this side of the fuse, and we get... Yep, yeah, it's going back up into the kill ohms, which means that there is no longer a short to ground on the PP bus, which means that we can now safely remove that fuse and put a proper capacitor there, where the capacitor goes. So this fuse is done for. But see, we're not going to replace the fuse without knowing why the fuse blew. So we have to figure out why the fuse blew before we replace it. If you simply go, oh look, the fuse is blown, and replace it without figuring out why it blew, you're just going to keep going back to the same place over and over and over again. This is the exact thing which makes me wonder why my MacBook has been in a repair shop for two months when Lewis finds an issue with a random board and is able to fix it in less than an hour. Well, I don't always fix the issue in less than an hour. There are many boards that I can't figure out for long periods of time that are total nightmares. Some are easy, some are total messes. The thing is, when it is a total mess, do you just give up and tell the customer I give up? Or do you spend months and months on it creating an angry customer when you could have created a happy customer by just telling them, sorry, there's not much I can do? The issue is, is then if you tell a customer, I'm sorry, there's not much I can do, and because you can't figure it out, and it's a difficult issue, and they take it somewhere else that does figure it out, then you've got a one-star review saying, I took it to these idiots and they couldn't figure it out, and the other place could figure it out. But then if you take forever to try to figure the issue out and can't, then you get a one-star review saying, they had my computer for two months and they did nothing. It's like one way or the other, sometimes as the shop owner, you can be screwed. Uh, that's just the shop owner's side of it. Or maybe the place you took it to are genuinely idiots. I have no idea who you took it to. I can't vouch for them, so I have, and I don't know your situation. Maybe you took it to a, a place that are filled with idiots, or maybe your machine has a very, very difficult issue to solve. That's capacitor. Capacitor.
And with this tip, uh, this iron tip is actually so big that I can't really fit in there while looking in the microscope. But we'll make it work. That's what we do here. Better than switching over to a different tip, which would take like nine seconds of time. Screw that. And listening to that damn thing beep. To hell if I'm listening to that thing beep. All right. Now that scrapey scraping that I did is not something you can do on an iPhone board. You do that on an iPhone board and it's gone. I have 90 people watching this right now on the Canadian Army base here. Really? Wow. You have three people watching you in class. There are people watching in class? Yeah. No way. Let's get another MacBook that I can steal that capacitor and fuse from. That is flux for the person who asked what I put on the joints. If you look up a YouTube video on what is flux, that I did called what is flux or what is that gooey liquid on the board. Why short circuit it to ground? Because instead of the circuit, going, instead of it going all the way through, ah, is your good advice, any ideas on how usually outgoing guy in school can be less nervous talking to a girl he likes? Any ideas on how a usually outgoing guy in school can be less nervous talking to a girl he likes? Well, the fir it, ah, that's, a that's a tough one. Uh, here's the, you just kind of have to see them as a regular person. You know, don't talk to them as somebody you're trying to get a relationship out of. Don't talk to them like somebody you're trying to get a, a date out of, or even a conversation out of. Just, at, you know, talk like a normal human being. There has to be something going on that is interesting around you. And don't care what the outcome is. That's another big part of it. Just don't care what the outcome is. Just walk up and go, hi. So what do you think of this? Or he said that. Uh, about some, you know, something that's going on in school or whatever and see what they're, if they're interested in talking. If they are interested in talking, then great. If they're not interested in talking, then fuck it because you don't care what the outcome is. If you care what the outcome is, you're nervous. If you're nervous, you'll have a shitty conversation. If you have a shitty conversation, you have no chance of getting the girl. If you're not nervous and you don't care what the outcome is, then, well, I don't know, maybe then you have a 10% chance of getting the girl or 1% if you're me, but 10%. Your videos are red pills to Mac fanboys. Are they? Thank you. Now, the thing is, you may still, you, you have to accept the outcome for whatever it is. You have to know that whatever it is that occurs, uh, you have to accept that whatever occurs, whatever the outcome is, that, would, that is the best possible outcome that it could have been. And not get, because the thing is, when you're nervous, you're not accepting that the best possible outcome is, is what occurs. Because when you're nervous, you're thinking to yourself, well, I, I'm not going to speak because what if, what if later is a better time to speak? Or what if later I have a better thing to say? And blah, de, blah, de, blah. Yeah, do, don't do that. Because if you do that, then that means that you're not accepting that whatever occurs, if you're being honest and you're being open and you're being interesting and you're being yourself, is the best possible thing that could have happened. Maybe she looks at you and says, Oh, like, I'm not interested in that, or why are you talking to me about this? And if that occurs, well, then that's the best possible thing that could have happened, and you're talking to somebody that you shouldn't fucking be talking to anyway, and only one way to find out, right? Uh, only one way to find out. Why do you call that shorted to ground? I call that shorted to ground because rather than the voltage making its way to every part of the system, it stops short over here. So, this here is my motherboard. This here is my motherboard. PP bus G3 hot is created here. It's supposed to go all the way around the system because there's PP bus G3 hot that's needed here and everything, but this capacitor is stuck going to ground when it's not supposed to. So rather than the voltage making its way from here all the way to over here, that's the long trip, it's making the short trip, which is from here to here and then getting sent to ground. So instead of the voltage making this trip, it's making this trip. This is shorter than this, the, and what is it shorted to? to ground, because that's where we had zero resistance to. We had zero resistance between PP bus and ground. So PP bus was shorted, meaning it's taking a shorter trip than it's supposed to, to ground. That's what I mean by shorted to ground. Now, people use the term short to mean just about anything that's wrong with anything nowadays, which obviously is incorrect, uh, and it's... I shorted my computer. It doesn't turn on. Yeah, the shorted is used as a noun and a verb and everything when it's not needed to.
Some of you, don't be the guy who dines and dashes after ordering the most expensive items in the menu. Nobody does that. Are you still single, Lewis? I am indeed single, so you should not be taking my dating tips. Because most of the people that I ask out, if not all, don't say yes. And my relationships are all entire messes and clusterfucks. So take my advice with a grain of salt. I am almost 30, and I am single. So perhaps my advice is terrible. Apparently walking up to them and talking about my pee-pee bus just doesn't, just, just doesn't get things done. My PP bus is 8.5 volts, not 8.1 volts. My PP bus was 8.1 volts until I met you, girl. I'm sure they just haven't read the schematic yet. If they did, they'd be all over me. Girl, you make my fan spin round, 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 round. I was just about to plug a USB-C charger into this. Wow, that was dumb. That's almost as dumb as 90% of my pickup lines. All right, we're going to take this, plug it in, and we get a fan spin. Look at that fan spin. Fan spin. Our short to ground has been fixed. The PP bus has been restored. The PP bus has been restored. That's all we could ever ask for. So, with that, let's move on to the next motherboard. The peepee -pee bus has been restored. 